this video, we are going to take a look at importing our data into InfraWorks. Now, I've started up Autodesk InfraWorks, just a fresh uh, close the program, reopen it. I'm going to go into our subdivision design file and give that a minute to load here. Now, once that's loaded, we're left with this uh, screen again that we've seen a couple times. Now, before we start inserting stuff into InfraWorks, there's a couple things we should go and just check and set up and make sure we set up properly. Now, InfraWorks is a fairly simple program, but you can do quite a, uh, quite a bit of stuff with it, and it really relies on four buttons here. This Home button will take us back to Home. We have options. We can show different things. I'm not going to play with any of the stuff up top here yet, although we can switch from Conceptual View to Engineering View. So each gives us a little bit of different options. So if you have a completely black screen, Try to see if you're on engineering view or conceptual view. Now, before I go and do anything, I'm gonna click on the little build, manage, and analyze your infrastructure model, and then click on the create and manage your model button. I'm gonna go into the model properties and make sure this is set up for CANA 83, the 3TM subdivision I'm using, or the, the coordinate system I'm using. I wanna use my entire model and my terrain. So when I insert my terrain, I want it to automatically pick a default style. So I'm going to click the dot, 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 and it's going to open up the material, uh, material style color. So when I insert my surfaces, what do I want them to look like? And we can go into any of these options. We can look under terrain, go back up to the parent folder. We can insert it as water. I'm going to do terrain. And I'm just going to select, we'll say grass two. Yeah, grass two. We'll hit OK. Don't worry about model time. There's the road design standards, driving direction, country kits, and we're going to hit OK. That's done nothing because we haven't inserted any data into one of the into these models. So again, under the I and the square. This dialog box over here has closed that we had in the previous. I'm gonna click on data sources. Now data sources is how we insert and interact with the data in our model. So I'm gonna click the little drop down arrow here and I'm gonna see all the information that can be inserted into an InfraWorks model. We can insert an entire 3D model. So we can do DAE, DXF, FBX or object files. This is how we'd insert information from 3D Warehouse SketchUp. Oop, cancel. I can insert an AutoCAD drawing, or I can insert my entire AutoCAD Civil 3D drawing, and this will bring in everything that's in that drawing. However, I like to keep things a little bit separately. I can insert IMX files, Revit files, Land XML files, I can insert a point cloud, so that point cloud from Autodesk Recap, we can insert that into the software. SDF, SHP, and SketchUp files. So we can insert quite a bit of information here. I'm going to start with a IMX file and see what kind of information that gives us. So I'm going to navigate to my InfraWorks export. I'm going to select my entire project and hit open. Now, InfraWorks asks us what we want to insert road surfaces, pipes, and structures. So this road will be the corridor. The surfaces will be the surfaces that are in the drawing, pipes and structures. We're gonna leave everything selected and we're gonna hit okay and take a look. Now in the data sources dialog box, we see that we have pipeline connectors. Those will be our structures, pipelines will be our pipes, roads will be our corridor, and the train will be our surfaces. Now, all of these say they're configured. However, we have to right click and configure them to make sure they are all set up properly. Our coordinate system, our source, hit close and refresh, and then InfraWorks will do, uh, be, be able to display something. So we have to right click configure on all of them, our pipes, Again, take a look at the options. We don't want to drape any of those. I'm going to hit close and refresh. Same with our roads. Most of these should come in properly. We're going to close and refresh. 
and then my surface is here. And it's my final surface. I'm going to close and refresh. So we have a little bit of an issue here because my surface is up here. My roads, however, are down below. So if I refresh them, we might have to reconfigure and drape them on the surface. So I want to drape. And we'll close and refresh and we'll see if that fixes our problem here. It does not. All right, so I figured out how to get that fixed properly. So I right clicked on my roads and I deleted these features, which removes them from your InfraWorks drawing. It doesn't delete them from your data sources over here. I've then gone right click and reconfigured them. Under the source, I wanna drape them and I'm gonna turn that off and I'm gonna hit close and refresh. Now this is still gonna cause a problem because the way it brought in the roads, it made uh, intersections and quite large intersections, even where we had knuckles. So we don't actually want that to happen. Now the IMX insert, it gives you various options. I'm gonna delete these all and show some additional options here. So I'm just gonna select our four items and delete them. Now it's always a good idea to start with your very top surface. So I'm gonna insert land XML and I wanna insert my existing ground. I'm going to configure it. And the only option we're given is where the coordinate system is. I'm gonna hit close and refresh and it's gonna bring in that existing ground file. And we can see here, here's the existing ground where our, our subdivision is that I'm inserting. I'm going to bring in another land XML of the final road design. And I believe I exported the wrong surface. I wanted my, I wanted my um, lot grading surface. However, for this, we're just going to bring in the final road design. And then I'm going to configure it. We'll close and refresh. and nothing has popped up because I believe it is underneath this surface. There is a way to change the order of your surfaces. So we're gonna select the uh, manage the order and visibility of surface data. I'm gonna take my train surface combined road design. I'm gonna move it down below and I'm gonna turn it on. So if we hit okay, our surface has now showed up there and has put it on top of the existing ground. It is a little bit hard to see but we do have it here now. I'm going to add another land XML file and I want my road alignments. So we're gonna start building from kind of the initial up. I'm gonna right click configure, the coordinate system, any tool tip, what type it is. So we can do railways, pipelines, furniture, barriers, but this is roads. I'm gonna hit close and refresh. And InfraWorks is just going to put a very basic, very generic two-lane road for us. Now, this will be a four-lane with a median. And this will be our two-lane with a cul-de-sac bulb and a knuckle bulb on these corners. But we will get to that eventually. Now, I'm going to insert a SDF file. I'm going to select my parcels and hit Open. Again, right click configure. Geolocation, make sure it's 3TM. The source, I want to drape these. And what type is this? So InfraWorks wants us to select the type. Is it barriers, buildings, coverage areas, parcels? Now we can do a coverage area or we can do a parcel. So let's start with parcel here. I'll hit close and refresh. And it brings it in as just a couple lines here. Now, yes, it is a little bit, a little bit goofy looking because the existing ground is being displayed out here and our road is in here where I should have exported our finished ground design. Now, if we delete these, we'll remove those. We are going to re-import that 
parcels as an SDF file, but this time we are going to configure it as a coverage area. And then we can set up our rule style. So what do we want this to look like? Do we want it grass, restricted, terrain holes? We can go zoning, residential, recreational, etc. So we'll select residential. We'll hit close and refresh. And it's going to cover our entire subdivision with what is being zoned as residential. So either, either option is good here. You can choose what you want. Now let's try inserting the pipes. We are going to do them first as an SDF file and we're going to see what kind of options those give us. So we're going to select sanitary and storm. Remember our water wasn't able to be exported as an SDF format. I don't want any alignments, but I want my pipes and my structures. I'm going to right click configure and type these are pipelines. And make sure I selected the pipes, yes. I don't want to drape these, so we're going to hit close and refresh. And they should appear above ground. So it, it looks like it doesn't export proper vertical information when we export as an SDF format. Or I may have just missed an option. I can do my pipeline connectors as well. And I'll hit close and refresh. And that has inserted my structures now. However, I cannot see any of them. They're little tiny circles. So I'm going to remove these and export them as XML files. Or sorry, import them as the XML files. So land XML, I want my sanitary and storm and my water. We're going to see what it gives us. We're going to hit open. And we're going to hit OK. Sanitary and store. Actually, you know what? We're just going to delete these and reinsert them because I think I forgot to delete some other stuff. OK. Land XML. Sanitary storm water. So as you can see here, it's very easy to exclude and re-include objects. Um, deleting and removing them, configuring them. Geolocation, again, I didn't set this up when I exported it. So just tell, uh, tell InfraWorks what it is, close and refresh. And now we see we have the pipeline connectors from, the, from Civil 3D. So these are the depths and the locations of our connectors. We can right click configure on our pipes. Again, set up the geolocation, close and refresh. And here's our pipes. And this is actually placed them underground instead of uh, draping them on the surface, even though we selected don't drape. Now, when it comes to curved pipes, even though my pipe is curved like this under the road, InfraWorks can seem to mess up and place them in weird curves like this. So again, do we need to show pipes underground? Do you want to show them? Yes, no, maybe. You, you have the option here. So I believe that was every uh, file format that we had exported to import into InfraWorks. So that was a simple getting your data into InfraWorks video. So we exported from Civil 3D and we imported into InfraWorks. The next videos, we're gonna look at changing the styles, looking at some of the options and making a model.